I just built a new pair of Adirondack chairs for our fire pit, and I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, we got to go back to see what our fire pit looked like before this. Just like any other thing in life, our fire pit got a little left behind over the years. So I'm going to start by removing all the ash from inside the fire pit, blowing off the outside, getting rid of all the dust, and removing all the extra broken stone and landscaping timbers that bordered the fire pit. After washing off and restacking all of the stones, I replaced the landscaping timbers with some nice crispy ones. That way, when we pour our rocks down, they stay in place. Because this is going to be the new all-night party spot, I dug some holes and set three posts. That way we can hang some string lights over top. And P.S. We go to bed at 9, but they still look pretty cool. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, the chairs. There are a ton of free plans available online, but we decided on some plans from the queen of DIY, Anna White. And here is your cut list. You can pause this if you need to. I'll also link her full blog below this. And with everything cut, we're gonna move on to the stringers or the long boards that are at the base of the chairs. We're gonna cut them at a 20 degree angle on both ends. With both of those cut, I'm gonna grab my speed square and just mark down an inch and a half. Put a little mark there. And then I'm gonna turn my speed square 90 degrees on the 20 degree angle and put a line. And then we're gonna cut that off with the skill saw. Next, grab one of the five 19 and a half inch long boards and put a mark at 13 and three quarter, and that is where the top of that 20 degree angle is gonna go, then screw it in. Then we're gonna add the top part here, which is your armrest, then duplicate that for the other side of the chair. On two more of the 19 and a half inch long boards, add pocket holes to the back side. Now we're gonna connect the two sides together using the 19 and a half inch long boards with the pocket holes. With the pocket holes facing inwards, attach the two sides together and then flip the chair over and you're gonna attach this along the back side. This is gonna hold your seat back in place. Now we're gonna attach the two back supports to the chair stringers at the base and then I'm gonna take another 19 and a half inch long board to prop up the back and attach the back support to that as well. With the back supports attached, flip your chair over and attach the final 19 and a half inch long board to the base of the back side of the chair. And that is it for the build of this chair. Now we're gonna sand it nice and smooth, that way we can put a nice fresh stain on it. I chose Cabot's semi-transparent stain and sealer and I went with Newburyport Blue. I stained the entire frame of the chair with the blue, then I set this aside so it can dry. For the seats and the seat backs, we went with chestnut brown. It's also a semi-transparent stain, so it shows a little bit of wood grain through, and I like to see that detail of the wood plus the stain color. So after a day of drying, I attached all the seat backs and the seats to the frame of the chair. I used a scrap piece of 1x when I screwed all the boards on, that way we have a nice even spacing in between each. And that is it for the chair build. Our summertime hangout is ready and it looks pretty cool at night. I can see myself out here every night having a nice drink, relaxing by the fire. Thanks again and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button.